hi everyone welcome back in this video you will learn how to make employee attendance tracker sheet in the screen you can see a already built employee attendance tracker sheet first of all let me explain the key feature of this sheet after that i will show you how to make this from the step by step process here you have the month selection and year selection drop down from which you can choose different month and years in this column the employee id is given the employee name is in the second column designation of the employee is on the third column this is the total present days calculation when we start filling the attendance record by marking the check box then this total present days will auto calculate similarly the total absent days will also calculate as we keep on filling the record then this is the dates of april 2024 which is from 1 to 30 when i change month from here this will automatically change and these are the days on that date and this will also auto change when i change the year and month from this drop down suppose that if i choose here february here you see the dates are automatically changed and here i have assumed that the week of day is saturday this you can change according to your requirement which day to keep is week off and here to mark the employee as present you have to simply click on the check box when you click on check box here you see the total present days and absent days starts to calculate after you complete the one month attendance then you have to make a copy of this sheet and create a new for the second month like if you want to make it for may month then you have to create a copy of this here it should be april so let me change this to april 24 then right click on the sheet click on move or copy click on move to end then click on create a copy then click okay now a new copy will be created just right click and rename this to may 024 and here from the month drop down choose may month after you select may the last date of may is 31st so here it has given till 31st in this case we have to insert the check box here by simply selecting this then go to insert tab click on check box tool and to remove the previous month's marked check box you can simply copy one blank check box cell by pressing control c then select all this check box range then press control v which will replace all the marked check box with blank check box after this you can start keeping the record for the month of may and here you see all the dates and days is automatically given by excluding the saturday here you can start doing the attendance of the employee for the month of may so this is the way this attendance sheet works now let's start with the process of making this from the step by step process let me create here a new sheet to start creating this here i will create a new attendance sheet let me delete all this from here first of all here make the month selection drop down and here make the year selection drop down to make the month and year selection drop down here in one sheet you have to make a list of months like from january to december and here make it from 2024 to 2030 just for example here you can take more year also and here write 1 to 12 because we need the numeric value for these months which will be used in the formula after making this data here then go to your sheet and here create drop down by going to data tab click on data validation choose list from here then in the source of the list click then go to the sheet where you have the list of the month select it then click okay this creates a month selection drop down here similarly for the year selection drop down 
do the same. Now here you have the year selection drop down and here you have the month selection drop down. Now here put the column headers. Now in the employee ID put some IDs. In the employee name write your name of the employees. Here I am giving some random name just for example. In the designation, write the designation of the employee. Then here in the total present days and the total absent days, we will use the formula. Now here in this cell, we have to display the first date of the month if the first date is not Saturday. If the first date is Saturday, then we have to start from the second date. So here we have to check a logic that whether the first date of the month is Saturday or not. So to check the logic here, we can use this formula, press equal to, then type here the text function, open bracket. In the value, we have to combine the date function, bracket open. In the year, click on this, comma. In the month, we have to give the numeric value for the May month which we can get here by using the VLOOKUP function. So type here VLOOKUP open bracket. In the lookup value click on the month name here, comma. In the table array go to the seat 1 where we have the month and the numbers. Select this range then give a comma. In the column index number type 3 because this number is on the third column of this range, comma. Then choose exact match by double clicking. Then close the VLOOKUP function which will pass the numeric value of the month here in the date function then give a comma in the day type 1 then close the bracket then give a comma in the format text type double quotation then DDD double quotation close then bracket close press enter. Now here you see the first date of the month is given is Wednesday. If I take here June month, the first date is Saturday. So in this case, we have to display the second date if it is Saturday. So here to identify whether the first day of the month is Saturday or not, we have to use the if function here to check for the logic. So here go at the beginning of the formula, then combine the if function here open the bracket in the logical test of the if function we have to check whether the result of this function is saturday or not so here click at the end of the formula then press equal to then type double quotation then type sat saturday then double quotation close now this will check whether the first date of the month is saturday or not now give a comma in the value if true, it means if the first day of the month is Saturday, then we have to add one with the first date or we have to display the second date. So here in the value if true, simply copy this date function till here. Select then right click, copy then paste the function here in the value if true. Now we have to add one with this. So here type plus one, then give a comma. In the value if false, we have to again paste the copied formula. So here paste the formula. Now for this if function, close one more bracket, then press enter. And here it is given as 02 because the first date of June 2024 is Saturday. If I make it May, then I'll get 0, 01 here because the first date of May 2024 is not Saturday. Here, if you get this in date formatting, you have to convert this into number formatting. If you get the result here in this format, simply right click, go to format sales, then click on custom. Here, type DD that will display the number for the date, then click OK. And here it gives you 01. Now, here display the day 
on this state by using the text function press equal to text bracket open in the value click on this cell comma in the format text type double quotation then d d d double quotation close bracket close press enter now you get the first day of the month which is Wednesday if you change this to June then you will get Sunday here because the first date is Saturday which is the week off so it has excluded this from here now to get the other days and date of the month here we have to use the formula combination that is press equal to type the if function again bracket open in the logical test click on this first date less than then combine eu month function eu month means the end of the month we are checking whether this date is less than the end of the month then give a opening bracket in the start date click on the first date that is on the f6 cell so type here f6 cell address comma in the month provide zero because we are checking the last date of the current month then close the eo month function then give a comma in the value if true now we have to combine the work day dot intel function so here type work day intel function double click to choose then here in the start date click on the first date that we calculated here which is in the f6 cell so here type f6 cell address comma in the days put one here comma in the weekend choose the weekend day here i have taken saturday for example so i'll choose this saturday only double click on this then close the bracket now give a comma in the value if false type double quotations two times close the bracket press enter now here you get the second date simply copy the formatting from here by clicking on this format painter then apply the formatting here here you get the 0 2 which is the second date now here you can simply drag the same formula now select these two then drag this formula till the last date here it has given till 31st so we don't need this delete this we need only from 1 to 31st here because the 31st is the highest date in a month now let's change the alignment of the text given here so select this then right click click on format cells click on alignment then make it 90 degree then click ok and here you see the alignment is changed adjust the column width here by selecting then make it little small size now here you see the days and date of the month is given and it is now dynamic if you change this to february here you see the date is given till 29 here the value error is given to remove this value error click on the second date then click on the beginning of the formula combine the if error function open bracket click on the end of the formula give a comma then type double quotation two times close bracket press enter now if you drag this formula till the last date then this value error will be removed now we have to display the border here according to the date we have here if it is till 29 we have to apply the border till 29 only if it is till 31st we have to apply the border till 31st here so for this select this range till 31st here this way then go to the home tab click on conditional formatting new rule then choose use a formula to determine which cell to format then here in the formula bar press equal to then type the first cell of this column header that is the a6 type here a6 cell then type less than greater than symbol together it means not equal to then type double quotation two times it means blank then before this row number six apply the dollar symbol here 
then click on the format button click on border tab then choose this outline border click ok again click ok now here you see when there is date given the border is applied if i make it may month then here you see the border will automatically apply until the date here similarly here also use the conditional formatting to apply the border select this then click on conditional formatting new rule use a formula to determine then here press equal to give the first cell of this day range which is the f5 cell so type here f5 less than greater than symbol together then type double quotation two times it means that if this range is not blank then we have to format this so click on format button click on border tab then choose this outline border click ok again click ok now the border is applied if i make it february then the border will be removed accordingly and if i make it may the border will be automatically given here similarly to give the background color here in the headings select it click on conditional formatting new rule use a formula to determine and here press equal to the first cell address of this column header is a6 so here type a6 not equal to blank click on the format button click on field tab then choose the color that you want click ok again click ok now here you see the header is highlighted with the blue color and it is also dynamic if i make it june month then here it automatically gets updated now to add the checkbox select this range click on insert tab then click on checkbox which applies the checkbox here now to display the total present days and total absent days here we need to use the count if formula so here press equal to type count if open bracket in the range select this checkbox range till 31st here then give a comma in the criteria type true because the mark checkbox is given by true then close the bracket press enter in the total absent days press equal to then use count if function open bracket in the range select the checkbox range till 31st here then give a comma in the criteria type here false because the unmarked checkbox represents false then close bracket press enter select these two then drag this down which will fill the formula here now when you start doing the attendance of june month then here you see the total present days and total absent days starts to calculate after you complete all the attendance of the june month then to make it for july simply copy this sheet as i told you earlier then delete the check boxes or make the checkbox blank for all the cell then you start the record for the another month so this is the way of creating this employee attendance tracker sheet in microsoft excel with checkbox this much for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial